So genetics is the study of heredity. And heredity is how traits are passed from parents to offspring. One of the first things that we're going to be looking at are pedigrees. Pedigrees are diagrams that show genetic relationships. They're used to trace traits and determine inheritance through generations of a family. When we have a pedigree, the generations are labeled with Roman numerals and the individuals are labeled with regular numbers. And with each new generation, you start numbering the individuals from one. This chart shows us the different pedigree symbols and what they all mean. This is an example of a family pedigree. It's actually my family pedigree. It has three generations, which are labeled, labeled off to the left with Roman numerals. And then each individual is given a number. So in generation one, we've got two people. In generation two, we have 20 people. And in generation three, we have 28 people. If you wanted to locate a specific individual, you would identify them with their generation and their individual number. For example, if you were to locate individual 328, that means you are looking in the third generation for person 28. And that would actually be the last person in the third generation. Family pedigrees can also be used to track traits, and you do that by shading in individuals. So on this pedigree, everyone with freckles in my family has been shaded in yellow. Another trait that runs in my family is nearsightedness, and in this case, everyone who is nearsighted has been shaded in purple. So now for an example problem. A man and a woman have one son. The son is married and has four daughters. So for that pedigree, it would look like this, where we have the man and the woman in generation one that have had a son, and that son is married, so that's generation two, and they have four children, which are all girls. Here's another example problem. A man and a woman are married. They have two daughters. One daughter is married to a man. They have no children. The other daughter is married to a different man. They have one boy and one girl. Here is the pedigree of this family. So in generation one, we have the man and the woman who have had two daughters. One daughter is married, but has no children. That would be person two, one, the first person in generation two. Because if someone does not have children, we do not show who their spouse or who they are married to is. Continuing on, the other daughter is married to a different man and they have a boy and a girl. And so those would be the two that we see in the third generation. This one is a little bit more complicated because it's written out in story form and it does not go in chronological order. A man, Glenn, with blue eyes, has a sister with brown eyes and both his parents have brown eyes. He is married to a woman, Leslie, who also has blue eyes. This woman has a brother with brown eyes 
and a sister with blue eyes. Furthermore, Leslie's mother has brown eyes while her father has blue eyes. Glenn and Leslie have four children, two girls and two boys, all with blue eyes. Draw a pedigree of this family, sheeting in those individuals with blue eyes. When you come across a pedigree problem like this one, where there seems to be a lot of information, the best thing to do is before you draw the pedigree to actually create notes on the family. Like who are the individuals that we're dealing with? Who is related to whom in what way? So for example, you would want to take some notes off to the side that would show that we have Glenn and he has a sister and they have parents. And then we know that Glenn is married and that woman he's married to has a brother and a sister and then it goes on and talks about her parents. So if you can start pulling that information out of the story, it'll be easier for you then to place it in the pedigree. So this particular family is this. So if we look in generation two, here is Glenn and here is Leslie. Glenn had a sister and they had their parents. Leslie had a brother and a sister, and then there's their parents. And then Glenn and Leslie had four children, two girls and two boys. Now this story also talked about who had blue eyes. And so everyone, that had blue eyes is shaded in. We know that Glenn had blue eyes, but his sister and his parents didn't. We know Leslie had blue eyes, and we know that her sister did as well, just like their father. But her brother and mother did not have blue eyes. And then all of Glenn and Leslie's children ended up with blue eyes. So that would show the pedigree of this family.